Hello class! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we'll be working with grades 3 to 5 and of course just work uh, to your best knowledge of how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. Um, of course third grade can do a little less of the project and fifth grade, hey, you know, I know you're going to do a lot more. So let's start with a prayer uh, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So um, we'll start our class today. We're going to keep it very simple so everyone uh, has an easy time doing it and you'll have some fun doing it. You'll just need, once again, what you have in the house, uh, colored pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have and you can use. Um, usually the markers are, are more intense, they stand out better, but if you are using them, Please make sure that you have something on top of your table so it doesn't bleed through and uh, ruin your parents' table. Um, if you're using colored pencils, it's always nice to have a piece of um, tag board or another piece of paper on top of your table, and it always makes everything smoother and easier to work with. Once again, um, You'll be doing a sloppy copy if you want, or you can do the whole class if you want. That's totally up to you. And you can change the uh, design however you would like. Um, if you want to work it um, portrait way, you can work it portrait way. If you want to work it landscape way, you can work it landscape uh, way. Um, we're going to be doing ice cream and ice cream pops. So it's up to you, it's very simple, and it's up to you how many you want to do and how you want to present it. So if you want to do it as a design, that's up to you. If you want to just do a couple of them, you can just do a couple of them. What I like to do is always, which we've done before, is kind of make a little frame around uh, your picture. If you do have a ruler, let's do this again. Just put your ruler to the end of your paper and draw a line. Now, I think I explained this to you once before. Your best way to draw a line is put your ruler right up against the paper like that. And you go, you spread your fingers out, and I'll show you that again. And you just go from the top to the bottom. Because if you work from the bottom to the top, Usually what happens is this slides. So if you're doing top to bottom, it usually doesn't slide. So once again, if you put your ruler to the edge of the paper and you spread your fingers out with your hands like that, so you, especially you little guys, you know, do it to the best you can. And then you just draw your line straight down the paper. So you can practice that a little bit because it always looks nice when you have a frame around your paper. And then you do your work inside. So it almost looks like your paper is framed. You don't need to color it if you don't want to, but always have a nice little frame and your artwork's in it. Just like I have my, you see this? Just like I have my pictures here, I have that frame around it and it always looks nice. Um, even when you look at your parents' pictures or whatever, if they're not paintings, they all have like a mat around it and then it's framed. It always gives it a look, a crisp, nice look. And so what we will do is we'll do that and then we will proceed to our little ice cream cones or uh, ice cream pops. We'll do them in color. Now, if you look at this, it's a very simple project because what do we see here? We see those shapes we always talk about over and over again. We see a triangle and a circle, but a little bit of the circles inside. We see another triangle 
And what do we see? These are like, this is like a little rectangle really, but it has curved edges. We see another one a little shorter, and we see another one a little bit here, and it has an angle. And then this almost looks like the top of a leaf, doesn't it? Like when we do our leaves that go like this, this almost looks like that, but not quite. Now the pops are very easy to make. It's just a rectangle and it has like a little, your little stick underneath. This is a different type of pop and it has that same angle as you can see that's here, but it goes in on a side. It just goes sideways. This is very simple. So all of it is very simple. Here's a big version of it. So when you're working on your paper, you can do quite a few of them, and you can do it as a design on your paper, or you can just do them straight across. So we start, I'm going to use a ruler on mine, but you can go freehand. Well, I'll go freehand. It's just a V. And so you start and you make your, your triangle. And I'm using a ruler on mine. And so, okay. So I made my triangle, but what did I do? I made this too high because how am I going to stick my ice cream on that? So I better erase some of that and I made a mistake, but you can always fix your mistakes. I told you in art, you just turn it into something else. So I'm going to end it about here, as you can see. So what do I do next? Do I want to try something like that? Or do I want to try something totally different? So that's up to you. Maybe you want to just have it as an odd shape. I know sometimes when I scoop out my ice cream, it comes out in bits. You know, it comes out, first I scoop out one, then all of a sudden I try to stick another one on the top, and then I get into something like that. So a lot of times I don't get it in one scoop, I get it in the shape more like this because it's all it's breaking up maybe it's too hard and I can't wait to eat it so this is what happens is so you can do it any way you like you can do it like this this looks like a Carvel you know where it kind of comes out or a Dairy Queen where it kind of comes out in um, these roundish shapes but that's up to you how you want to do it you can keep it in one scoop if you like. So that's totally up to you. So if you want to keep it like a Carvel, you just bring it around. And you can just do these little scoops like that. And maybe do like they have there, like a little scoop like that. So, once again, that's up to you how you want to do it. That's your fun part of doing it. So, I'd like you to try at least four of these. They're not hard. They're easy to do. Here's a round, just a round scoop that I made, a round scoop. And now I will do enough. Maybe I'll put a pop next to a comb. So it'll look a little different. And don't forget that it should look like a comb. Now look how easy that is to make. All that is is a line going this way. Right? All that is is a line going this way. And then it's going in the reverse way. as you can see. And then it's going in reverse. Now I'm holding this up so it's not straight, but that's all it is. It's a line going from one angle straight across the comb, and then you go in the reverse angle the opposite way. And it's very easy to do. And what do I see here? 
I wonder if you can see what I see. Think about